What's going on, Keith? My name's Kyle. I just wanted to reach out and make you a video that can bring you and your business some value. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can personally build a website, optimize it to where you drive in traffic and generate leads for your business. I had three tips for you, but I'm going to start off with this platform here real quick. This platform is called Snaps.ai. It's one of the many platforms that are out there on the market that you can use to build the website on. I picked this one just because it's super, super easy to use, navigate. There's tons of templates to choose from, user friendly. If you wanted to go ahead and check it out, you can go ahead and just sign up, sign in, and it'll take you to this board here. This will be the home page. Now you'd have to do is just go over to create a website. And it'll take you to tons of templates that you can choose and build from. They even have a website already built for lawn care maintenance. So I just go up here in the search template, type in lawn, and then you, uh, you have this template right here already built out. It's a really nice website. Uh, you can just go to select template. I have it pulled up over here. And it's pretty easy, man. All you have to do is just, you can add your business name in, your business phone number. You're just filling in the blanks. You can uh, switch out the stock pictures if you like, you know, upload pictures from your work, which I would recommend. And also, it does have content, but I would recommend putting at least 1,500 words of content on the home page. Only because Google doesn't care what the website looks like. Google cares about what kind of content is on the page. And Google likes to see a lot of content. And the websites that have the most content are going to be the ones with the most authority on the topic. Google really wants to give its users everything that they need when they go to the web, when they click on a website. So that's why I recommend you have at least 1,500 words of content. And another reason to have that much content is because you're going to want to have buyer intent keywords inside the content. What a buyer intent keyword is, it's essentially what people are searching for in the Google search bar. So for example, we use this tool here, it's called AREFS. It is a paid tool and it buys data from Google. And one of the features that allows us to search for these buyer intent keywords. So I just looked up Lawn Nashville, and this is just an example of many keywords that you can put into your website and be found for. So you have Lawn Care Nashville, that's being searched 250 times a month by potential customers. Lawn Service Nashville, 100 times a month. Nashville Lawn Care, 100 times a month. I mean, there's all sorts of keywords that you can find and put inside your content. You can find buyer intent keywords for all the services that you provide, your service areas. So it's important to have these keywords inside your content. Um, one way you can you can put these keywords in here, you know, you have your service pages. You can put Lawn, lawn Trimming Nashville or Lawn Service Nashville. That way, because you want keywords that are on the local level. If you just have keywords like lawn trimming, you're going to be competing on a national level. and You want to compete on a local level in the areas that you are in. So my next tip for you is going to be backlinks. Backlinks are just as important as content and keywords. Backlinks is what gives your website power. Uh, backlinks, they're links throughout the web that when clicked on will bring the user back to your website. It's almost like having a popularity contest and the person with the most backlinks usually wins. Google is actually looking at other sites that are pointing at you and vouching for you, basically stating that you're a trustworthy website and that this website offers a great service. But not all backlinks are created equal. Google wants to see backlinks that are relevant to you, such as other other lawn care websites or home improvement websites that have links linking back to your website. They don't want to see links coming from, say, Pizza Hut, because, well, you're not a food company, so the more relevant, the better. So I pulled up the search bar, and I just looked up Lawn Service uh, Nashville. This is Turf Managers LLC. This was in the number one ranked organic spot. And I looked up to see what was going on behind the scenes of their website. And this is a URL rating of 30. This is how powerful your competition website is. This is domain rating, and it's at an 8, and that's how trustworthy their website is. You actually want these two numbers to be as close together as possible. You want to shoot for a ratio of 1. They have over 500 people going onto their website each month doing organic search, which that's a lot of potential customers. Google's finding them for 1,300 of those buyer intent keywords we were talking about. They have 123 referring domains, giving them a total of 800 backlinks. Now, if these backlinks here are good enough to take their website to the top of Google, it'd be good enough to do the same for yours, as long as you have your content and keywords in order. So how do you get these backlinks? You just go into their referring domains, 
And each and every one of these uh, websites here has a link linking people back to their website. You can do the exact same thing with yours. Just go into each individual website. Some you just might have to create a profile and you can add your website that way. Others you might have to go to the contact us, email the owner, and they might hit you back with a small fee to be able to advertise on their website. <clears throat> now my last tip for you is get to the number one spot in the Google Map Pack. And that's this area here. And I, and I briefly looked, and I, I didn't see that you had a Google Google My Business page. If you do, I apologize. If you don't, you can just go to Google and Google Google My Business profile, and you'll you'll see it. You just walk through the steps and definitely get one filled out. I, I definitely recommend having one. But anyways, so get to this number one spot here. And in my opinion, it's one of the best spots to be in. I mean, if you if you're anything like me and you're trying to find a service you never used before. You're most likely going to use Google to search for it. Say I'm in Nashville and I don't want to mow my lawn anymore. I'm going to find a service to do it. So I'm going to Google lawn care service in Nashville. This is going to be the first thing that pops up and immediately I'm going to see Think Green Lawn Service. They have 37 reviews, four and a half stars. You know, it might be one of the first companies I call to come out and bid on how much it costs to get my lawn cut each week. So how do you get to this spot here? You need more citations than them. And all a citation is, is your business name, your business address, and your business phone number listed in directories throughout the web. Some examples of a directory are places like Yelp, White Pages, Yellow Pages, Better Business Bureau, even social media is considered a directory nowadays. So I hope this was helpful for you. You know, just a quick recap. You know, you can corner your market by building a website, put, put 1,500 words of content on your homepage with those buyer intent keywords so Google can find you for them. Then get all the backlinks your competition has and get them linking back to you. And finally, add your business name, your business address, and your business phone number, all spelled exactly the same all across the internet and more directories than your competition has. If you follow these three tips, you will generate traffic to your, to your nice newly built website and you will generate leads for your company as well. So again, I do hope this was helpful. If you have any questions, you are more than welcome to reach out to us. Our phone number is 480 six zero five zero five zero eight thanks for watching keith